Last time on Runaway, we met the rest of the characters on the boat. Saturn, who we conned in the first game, Camille, who got conned in this game, and this guy. I call him Douche Grande. How do I fill this with water? I better not need to fill up, like, a bottle with water and make, like, 17 trips like last time. Alright, with Camille up here, maybe I can go down there and talk to him. Yeah, I'll go see what Dean has to say. No, Brion. Please, Dean is concentrating. On the VCs, you, he will scream at me for letting you in. Okay, don't worry. I'm ready, Hostov. You come here, baby. Damn it, I want this douche dead. He's a dick. I mean, the last game had, like, a body count of what? Six? This game's sitting at one. Well, three if you count the people in the... that thing. Four if you count the guy who was raped by a bear. Anyway. I don't know why, but I figured this would happen. I want to put this thing on the button. That makes no... Yes, it does! Great idea. Use it on the door? Presto. Plus, it looks like the broom will hold steady. That was a major pain. However, I better get some excellent payback inside. That doesn't look secure at all! Oh, man. This must be my lucky day. I knew good fortune would smile upon me sooner or later. This was truly a challenge, but the reward is beyond comparison. A bag of plastic ties. And they're the beautiful white ones, too. My favorite. Well, I'll check to see if there's anything else around here. I think we've found his fetish. Nope. Nothing of interest to me. Let's look on the other side. And I am disturbed. No, nothing there either. However, as far as I can tell, this cargo hold is symmetrical to the other one, with the hatch and everything. Well, okay then. I have plastic ties. Maybe that'll trigger something else happening. Go to the deck. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting, but I'll take a look. Holy smokes! What? Man. They should declare this a disaster area. I guess they just waxed the floor. Someone could slip and break their neck. Well, great. Since Saturn claims the water in the boat's taps is fresh, I can use it to fill the sea lock tank. No, I'm not. No, I'm. Maybe. Hey. However, I think I'm missing some essential element to make it work. Okay. I'm ready, Hostov. Hmm, I don't know what that... No! You come here, That baby. idea... What? I put the sandbag... on there with the hose and... the... I don't know... Hmm, that doesn't... I think I better make some improvements, because this isn't gonna work. Oh, I need the hose! Which Joshua took? Hurry up, I that need son of a bitch! Hose. Maybe there's something more back here I can take. Oh, the belt! The belt has weights! My pants seem to stay up just... Once I find that in the meantime... No, this but not... It's full of... I don't know. Get another diving tube. Well, I already... Cool. I have two identical tubes to play with today. Okay. Well, so far I haven't come up with any ideas for using two tubes, so what would I do with the third? No, I'll just use... I'm not really in favor of wasting these excellent plastic ties, but if I must... Well, that's done. Okay. I hope I find a use for that. They're hollow inside, which is good to know when trying to distinguish them from icky European blood sausages. 
before you started up the recorder, Jakita? Yes, but of course. What's your... Move up with these on there now. I think I better make some improvements, because this isn't going to work. Really? Scuba suit? According to the little pla... I don't think... And can I get a part of it? The realism in the... A portrayal... It's made of bronze, so it must weigh more than my car. However, the trident has come loose. Oh! All nonchalantly slip it into my pocket. Well, not too nonchalantly, or I may inadvertently saw a branch off of the family tree. <laughs> I like it. I don't see the. I don't see the, that makes. No, I don't see that makes no. I don't see the. I don't. See, no. Well, okay. Let's see. Hey, um, with this giant fork. I don't see the. No, that's no way to. That doesn't. What can I do with a giant fork? I think I'd better make some improvements, cause. Maybe now I can make more I of these. Right. Let's record until the sun goes down. Uh, it it might be like that stupid bullet thing. I gotta now take all the rubber hoses and do this. Yes, I'll take as many as I need to build. An amazing makeshift hose. Yeah, just like the makeup bullets. Damn it. Okay, at least I figured this one out on my own. Alright, I feel a little bit better after the last one. Yeah, knowing the water that comes out is fresh, it'd be a good way to fill the tank in the cargo hold. And I'm sure the hose is long enough. But wouldn't it be better to wait until you have everything you need to build the neutrino detector? So the hose robber won't see it and steal it, too? This is true. Hmm. I don't see the re- These plastic ties are of exceptional grandeur. If they'd existed in classical Greece, Archimedes would have said, Give me a baggie of plastic ties and I'll tie up the world. You like those way too much. Anyway, that's a step done. I need a sketch thing. No, I won't get him to lend me the sketch pad unless I think of an invention to help me eat more slowly. A giant fork. Hmm, I don't know. Just one. What? I bet so. He says his hat's off to you, and not to pout. Is he piping down or pulling me leg? Come on, let's test him. Tell him his techno art is so sadly sad. It no be good enough to hang above a toilet. Okay, I'll go tell him right now. Shoot, now what am I supposed to tell Saturn? We're gonna make them apologize to each other. Brilliant. What's up with you, BB? Record just said so. Oh yeah? And what did that Rasta covered fool tell you? Let's see. Um, he said your techno artworks are worse than most TV shows. That's not what he said. Yeah. He says he's sad your techno art doesn't get more deserved airtime on TV. Is that so? Well, he's probably just saying it to get something out of me. Screw him. Remind him of what I said the other day. That in order to like reggae, you have to be daffier than a duck and waddle like one too. Trust me, I'll tell him. <laughs> Let's see how I can tell Rucker that. <laughs> uh, I'm fixing go. a friendship. I feel better about myself. Nothing fixes a friendship like a web of lies. <laughs> He says that when he listens to reggae, he gets so happy that he starts to flap his wings like duck. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to feel sorry for saying only jerks with blue hair go to the Burning Man Festival. Well, you repeat that to him and see what color he turns. Okay, I'll go tell him right now. 
Shoot, now what am I supposed to tell Saturn? He says he feels like a wacko for not having gone to the Burning Man festival with you. Now he realizes? Look, maybe in a few days I'll feel like a fool for saying this, but the, but the Jamaican bobsled team won't win the Olympics, even if it secretly uses doping. Go tell him that! Hey, the day you got mad, did you exchange any other words? Well, I don't know. Why? Nothing. It's just that he's starting to treat me like a punching bag. But don't you worry. He says the day Jamaica wins the bobsled medal, he'll buy you an Olympic-sized bong. Saturn said that? No way! In the end, he will turn out he ain't the jerk I thought. But all he's a saying. You ain't making that up now, is ya? Me? Make things up? Lie? <laughs> oh, Wrecker, you just don't know me. Can't believe my ears. Peace, man. I just think it's strange that Bird Brain, well, he ain't so bad, is he? You know, as brothers go, he's a good one. What am I saying? He's my best friend. Oh, man, I'm going to give him a makeup gift that's going to knock his dreads off. The helmet? No, but take it if you want. I meant something more personal. To help him with one of his inventions. Don't know, I think of something. Thanks, Wrecker. I have the helmet! Well, one more thing done. It looks nothing like it used to. Hooray! Okay, I got really, really stuck. And I can't look it up online because my internet is down. So I got, after wandering around a lot, I decided, hey, if I can't put these in the fridge or in there or give them to anybody, let's store them in my room. And... Yes, a wine like this should always be properly stored in a cool, dry location. In proper storage, they're less likely to break or spoil. Yeah, this cabinet looks like it has all the features needed to preserve the wine's aroma and taste. Just out of curiosity, though. I can't believe this worked. Mmm, smells amazing. I wonder if it tastes amazing, too. I mean, who would think to store the thing? Huh? Where am I? A boat. <laughs> I like this bit, though. I saw it the first time when I found Man, it. Man, I ache all over. And that light. It's a time paradox. Just a sec. Hold on. Give me a minute here. No. Get to work. Let's see. I escaped with Joshua on Simon's snowmobile. We got as far as Sicily. Camille's wine. I really don't know what could have happened. My head is pounding and there isn't a drop left in those wine jugs. Maybe I was mugged. Anyway, I better look on the bright side. These empty wine jugs will surely come in handy. Yeah, I know it's not that comforting, but I need some encouragement here. Okay. That item may come in handy! Damn it, Joshua! Stop taking shit I need! You bastard! Talk about mug. That might have been mug. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you drank on both jugs. But it was quick, pretty quick to figure out. You gotta sand these together. Hmm. I'm getting another one of my brilliant ideas. For what I've got in mind, I just have to fill one halfway. See, I didn't get that, because I could have sworn it was going to be, um, you put weights on your wrists to make it so you can't lift the fork as fast. But, when I did this... I'm not sure if this idea is ingenious or idiocy. I like that smirk you got when you say that. There we go. One family-sized hourglass. That is a big fucking hourglass. And then I found out you attached it to here. Yeah, through the awe-inspiring wonder of the plastic tie, my grandiose creation will be complete. The unique, unmatchable watch fork. That's actually pretty neat. Although it makes me wonder just how big those jugs are compared to that trident, because that trident wasn't that big. I guess those jugs are pretty small too. Let's see, stand next to the statue. Yeah, eh, the jugs are decent size, but I guess they're not like... They're not huge. They're not like big ass jugs, I was thinking. Wait a minute, I saw them on the staircase. They're way bigger than that. Let's compare. Hey, here. Yeah, 
Maybe if I give a good sales pitch, he'll like it. Take a look at this, Saturn. What is that thing? It's an experimental primitive prototype of the watch fort, based on your ideas about people eating slower. The actual size wouldn't be so big, but I thought you'd appreciate the detail this way. Watch fork? Yeah. Look closely. You pick up the food with your fork, impatiently wait for all the sand to drop from the top of the hourglass to the bottom. Afterward, you turn it over, lift the fork to your mouth, and chew patiently until the sand goes back to the other side. Then, and only then, do you pick up another morsel of food and repeat the process. So, what do you think, Saturn? He's amazed. This is the most amazing invention I've ever laid my eyes on. Seriously? Watch out, Da Vinci. I'm gonna start work on this immediately. I'm heading to my room, where I can clarify the mathematical concepts behind the watch for and draw some sketches for a while. I swear, those jugs were twice that size. Hey, Saturn. That sketch pad you brought back is brand new, isn't it? Yeah, I used the last page from that last pad on a couple of preliminary designs for the watch fork. So, can I have it? You mean you want me to lend it to you? Well, I'm sorry, BB. I'm giving it to you. Well, at least I finally got it. Now let's hope I can truly put it to good use. Hooray! All right, this is the last step I think I need. I need to get those papers. Be uneasy. All you right, here next. we go. Finally. Be Be hey, Dean. Grassy. I bet you could do with a helpful teleprompter. How'd you know, amigo? I have a primo memory. But if I had the words written down, I could concentrate better on my acting, you know? Well, let's get to work then. I'm going to prepare an analogical teleprompter for you to watch. Recording. I am Dean Grassic. And let me say bienvenidos to the Grassic Adventure with Team Grassic, your favorite show. Broadcasting from Miami to the world, baby. Do you know why? Because I live tons of real adventures every day. Do you know why, amigo? Because I, Team Grassic, I am the greatest adventurer in the world. The only one who can lick his own elbow and jump onto his heel. So now, you can just give your remote control, Dideo, because our adventure is about to begin. Here we go. Roll that video. And... Cut. What did I tell you, kids? Team Grassic is the biggest of them all. And now, I'm gonna get my lunch. Because I deserve it. I don't want to know why. I never want to know why. Mm, here it is. A delicious hard tofu bar with genetically engineered potassium-enriched beans. Could you lend me that paper now, Dean? It's all yours, amigo. I finally did it. Well, I think I finally have everything Saturn needs to make the neutrino detector. I'll go tell him so we can get to work ASAP. Come on, start dismantling the helmet while I figure out how this works. Okay. Let's see. Awesome! This is a piece of cake! <laughs> hey, Dee, Dee you sure that's the right tool? Ready to roll, Saturn! <laughs> cool! <laughs> Come on, BB, bring it on! Tell me when it's full! No tubes Will this are... take much longer? Way bigger than I may look like. Huh? Dude, it's starting to come out! Cut! Well, I'll just clean up this mess and be on my way. No, it's technically impossible for anything to go wrong, but you better stay back a bit. Now I see why you chose me to talk through the intercom. Well, as they say, que sera sera. Whatever will be. Sushi, will can you be. turn off the light? We're starting here. Done. Good luck, boys. Yeah, good luck to everyone. A and to me, too. Look at them. There are the neutrinos. They're shooting up from down there to the left. Sushi, fire the engines and set our course to north-northwest. Okay, turn starboard just a few degrees. Look at that thing coming. 
Stay the course, Sushi. We're headed in the right direction. Drop anchor, Sushi. We're right on top of it. That's actually pretty ingenious. I don't know if it'll work properly, but... Sorry, Brian. Why? What happened? What's going on? I still can't figure out why he could back out at the last minute. That's the job I hired him for in the first place. You see, I told you there was something fishy about Dean. Well, fortunately, Camille has offered to go down and get the Trantonite. No, tell her not to worry. I'll go. I understand that your endgame is to do this personally, but after what you went through to build the neutrino detector, shouldn't you take some downtime? Negative. The Trantonite is my mission. Plus, there's a couple things we need to discuss. The first is that we are no longer right above the Galleon, so you'll have to swim a bit. Not far, though. The second thing is that before beginning to search for the Trantonite, a 3D scanner should be placed as close as possible to the middle of the Galleon, so that you can provide me with a three-dimensional image I can use to guide whoever goes down. You yourself do not have to be the diver. Come on, give me that contraption. I'll go down right now. Okay, do as you wish. After all, everything is in place. Saturn has installed a shortwave receiver in the diving suit, so you have a comm unit during the underwater ops, and the mini-sub is ready inside the sea lock capsule. It took me a while to find it, because Rutger had taken it and... Well, you'll see. Balaz, regulator, ready. Be careful down there, Brian. <laughs> Vamos, kid. You can do it. Loco, I bet you do it almost as good as me. Wow. Well, thanks for the encouragement, Dean. De nada, brother. Dean. Good luck, Brian. Fuck you. Brian, what happened to your abs? Muchacho, amazing title you have come up with for this new Dean Grassic adventure. Blast to the past. I kind of hope that this ends with him just walking on the sea floor, we clicking stuff in the freaking coral reefs and shit. There. Now well, that's convenient. What exactly are the odds that a boat will land on the really the lone outcropping of rock in the middle of the ocean? So you don't have to worry about actually needing stuff like a scuba suit to dive to proper depths. I was really hoping this would end with Dean's explosive decompression. detail on this ship, though. I like the art in this game. Oh, it's impaled. That's cool. Oh, good reefs! A fish! <laughs> Rucker painted the boat. The, the mini-sub. Those millions invested in the three-dimensional scanner were worth it. Well done, Brian. Hop in. Where to attack. That technology I don't think is real. Good work, Brian. Now I have a virtual image of the Orion, and I can view your position the entire time and indicate which bearing you need to take. So, where do I have to go? Well, if you look closely, you'll see that the Orion's figurehead looks like a scorpion, and right next to the stinger on its tail, there is a small sphere. According to Paco's indications in Palenque, that sphere would be illuminated during battles, and I wouldn't be surprised if... I catch your drift. Come on, prepare me for the dive. I'm going back down. Are you sure you don't want to rest first? Why did you even get up? Wait a minute, if this is the sphere of that train tonight... Um, the sphere in the frickin' ruins weighed, like, everything. How are you gonna carry this up there? 
I shouldn't question this. I guess I'm not actually going to be exploring this boat. Which means that all this is just fancy cutscene. That's a cool scorpion. Reminds me of a chair I once saw in another game. Lichens. Either we get rid of them and the moss, or we'll never get it open. You know what you have to do, right? Clean it. Clean it, Brian. Remove the moss and lichens to see where it opens. You aren't the kind of man who refuses to pick up a cleaning rag, are you? No, but I thought there might be some other way to open it. Whatever, but I think you'll end up having to clean it. All right, Sushi. I'm gonna see what I can come up with. But now I just clean it. It'd be pretty easy. Okay, I guess I gotta look around. It's a sort of... What's up, Rucker? Hello there, Ruck. Things ain't so good, man. I'm trying to become one with the plant world, but I can't seem to perform photosynthesis. Keep trying, Wrecker. You can do that, and so much more. Okay, so no talking to you. You know, cleaning it would be a lot, so where'd the helmet go? I'd swear he had a helmet on before. I wonder where it went. How goes the watch fork? What are you working on, Saturn? Haven't I told you about the electromagnets? They're one of my latest creations, equipped with a device that magnetizes or demagnetizes things at will. When this is finished, I plan to attach them to the mini-sub and take up underwater skiing. Oh, that exists? The question is not whether it exists, BB, but whether we want it to exist. Art and science are based on that grand principle. That's an interesting way of looking at things. I like it. Oh, that box is open. No, I already toted one around on Mala Island, and it weighed a ton. Maybe there's something inside I can use, though. Exactly. Man. I bet the saw will come in handy. Okay. Anything else? Saturn left it behind when we built the detector. No, I didn't see anything. Hmm, I have a saw. Maybe this saw is all I needed. I can cut it off and then bring it up. I have a saw. I don't think she's... Listen. Yes, Brian? All right, let's see. I'm going to turn the guy again. How am I supposed to clean your figurehead? How's Camille doing? How's Camille doing? I just went to see her in her cabin, and the poor girl is a mess. She's writing things in her diary. Bear in mind that Dean was her biggest idol, and in a matter of days, his image has been completely shattered. She'll get over it fast, though. She's young and strong, and I have a feeling she may surprise us. You know, if any character comes back stronger and more intelligent and to play a role in the third game, I hope it's Camille. How am I supposed to clean the orb on the figurehead? Well, they say the best way to fight tough stains is with pressurized water. Under the water? Very funny, Sushi. Okay, okay. The cleaning rag didn't convince you, did it? Why didn't Dean go down? Exactly, why didn't Dean try to go down and get the Trantonite? Oh, but didn't I explain? Turns out he isn't actually a treasure hunter. I kind of figured that. What? He's not a treasure hunter? He's just a straw man. A salary-paid actor who's hosted the show while pretending to be a big adventurer. But it turns out the action shots were filmed by stunt doubles. But the deal was that he'd go down and get the Trant Knight, wasn't it? That's what I told him, but not what he understood. When I hired him, he must have thought I was in contact with the production company. And that, at the moment of truth, the stunt doubles he usually uses for the risky scenes would show up to do the dirty work. I told you I didn't like that, Dean. I told you so. 
I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. Okay, you're right and I was wrong. But don't be so childish as to rub it in my face. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I told you so. Okay, let's drop the topic of Dean. You are such a douche. But thank you. Well, I wanted to thank you. If it weren't for you, I probably would have given up. Come on, Brian. Don't get discouraged. You'll see how soon we're celebrating the end of all this with Gina. By the way, did you know I have tickets to Lula, Marta, and Mariola's new show? How did you even know them? Really? What are they up to? No idea, because I bought them on the net. The truth is, I haven't heard anything from them since you and Gina invited us to that weekend in the Cayman Islands. Well, we had to thank you for everything you've done for us. I hope we can do it again soon. Oh! You treated all your friends to the Cayman Islands? Points. Do the Divas have a new show? Yes, but don't ask me what it's about. The website just said something like, The latest musical extravaganza of the Queens of Kitsch. Well, getting back to our topic. Go now. I'm going down to the Galleon again. That's alright, Brian. Just start prepping and tell me when you're ready. I have a saw. Let's do this. Now, why exactly did we need the 3D model when we knew it was at the mast? The mast, the, um, figurehead. Why did I think mast? Anyway, we knew it was at the figurehead, not inside the hull or something, so why did we need the 3D model? Don't insist, Brian. I already told you. Nope, I can't get it open. Will you pay attention to me, Brian? Either you clean it, or you'll just keep diving around until you're worn out. So why don't you just clean it? After another long session of wandering, I found this. I can saw this broom. Of course. Who but I could dream up such a cool plan? It's obvious I'm a genius. No one. They Here we have it. An actual hog bristle brush, pocket size, and at wholesale price. It makes sense, but really, she offered you a rag. You could have just used the rag. It made me waste so much time here. That's weird. Maybe I typed it in wrong. What? I've got the feeling there's something fishy happening here. The bad thing is that thinking of fish is making me hungry. Uh-oh. It's Dean. 